It's Sunday of the Great Great Beat Extravaganza. Welcome, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> so, guys, we are experiencing a winter storm, and our internet is kind of up and down, up and down. It's your phone, oh, my love. It is. <laughs> So um, let us know if you can hear us okay, and let us know if we're choppy, because on our end, it's super choppy, but we hope it's not choppy for you guys. It's really cold here. It's negative six, which is like way negative too cold four, for us. Yeah. Oh, last I looked, it was negative six, but it's probably negative four now because it's warmer in the day. <laughs> it's, it's later in the day. Anyway, so welcome. Welcome to day two of the Great Beat Extravaganza. Oh, I'm cold. <laughs> What's the weather like where you guys are? Let us know where you're watching from in chat. Let us know if you were here for day one yesterday. Um, oh, Linda says it's a little choppy, but it'll be fine. Okay, we'll just um, we'll just oh do slow. Everybody's saying little choppy, but audio is fine. Okay. We'll just, I'll just do everything a little slower. So hopefully it'll come through. And if need be, I can always do a YouTube video after the fact when the internet's a little better. <laughs> but you know, you know how these things go and we appreciate your patience. Um, we are all volunteer artists and creators that come together for this awesome weekend. Um, and yeah, let's get going. So what we're going to do this time around is we are going to do a wrap bracelet. So we're going to do this fun. Oh, I'm showing you my taped end. Sorry. <laughs> we're going to do oh a gemstone zigzag wrap bracelet that also doubles as a necklace. You can wear it as a necklace. So, um, Alex is going to drop the link to that in chat. Yes, and I have that prepared. If you want, there is a link list of everything that we are using today um, in the description oh, of this YouTube video. Um, oh, just kidding. That link that he just dropped in chat was the link that I used to share the stream. So hold, please. <laughs> it'll just send you right back to this it'll video. Send you, it'll circle right back to where you are. All right. That is, in fact, <laughs> the product link. Yay, we did it. Awesome. Um, so yeah, it's a wrap bracelet and it's also a necklace. We've got five colorways. The one that I'm wearing is Rhodonite, <laughs> which we'll take a little bit closer of a look at later. The one I just showed you on the bracelet cone is Goldstone. The one on this sparkly cone is Hematite. And then minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy no, snow. Uh, that yep, is Regina, wild. Saskatchewan in Canada. Oh, well, that makes sense then. This is Lepidolite. That is wild. And then this one might be my personal favorite Amazonite. Okay, so let's do it. Before we do it, though, oh, yeah, make sure that you like the video. Heart the Great Beat Extravaganza and share it around with all of your friends on the internet. It really does help us out. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it gets more people invi involved and invited to this awesome group. Co collaborative community of creatives. So yeah, let's get some likes in chat. Avoid alliteration always. <laughs> hit that heart button if you're on Facebook and we will get started. Oh, actually, before we get started, there's a couple other fun things that I want to tell you about. Um, we are doing a giveaway so you can enter here in chat now um in the comments uh and then we are going to announce the winner of this giveaway at our wednesday stream but you have to be here now watching yeah. and you're gonna do hashtag giveaway so it is one of our uh, monthly fun packs this is our february monthly fun pack and if you don't want to gamble on being the winner of this and you want to make sure that you for sure get it um alex is going to drop the link to sign up for our monthly subscription in chat but you can win one of these by typing hashtag giveaway in the comments right now and then make sure that you watch our stream on wednesday at 7 p.m central um so that you find out if you won or not and the monthly fun pack Thanks. link if you want to sign up and you have to be there on Wednesday to win. If you're not there, it goes to the next person. So you have to be there on Wednesday. But yeah, I just dropped the link there in chat. So if you guys want to check it out and join the subscription service, 
definitely click that link and uh, make sure you secure yours for next month. Yeah, and then the other thing that I wanted to mention is that we do have, speaking of hashtags, we do have, um, <laughs> <laughs> we do have a discount code um, for our website uh, that can be used now through Wednesday. Um, it is TGBE20 to receive 20% off of most things on our website. Okay, is that everything Hi, on my Melissa. list? That's everything on my list, which means the work's done and it's party time. Oh, Adriana, I think you need to try that again. You just got away. <laughs> so, but yeah, use that uh, TGBE20 at all, almost all of the products on beadplace.net. The, so, really, the only thing it's not applicable for is like subscriptions. We go live on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. So set your clocks to Central Standard Time and come join us. We, we go live every single Wednesday night, and we have a lot of fun. We make, do. Abby makes projects. I sit there and make silly jokes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, run the, well, I really don't do anything now. I just, I'm there. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Look at that ceiling tile. Woo. All right. Give me just a minute to get you guys set up so that you can see what I want you to see. Because we are streamlining things this year, guys. We are using one camera and one audio source to make life easy for us. Yes. All right. Give me some elbow room here, please. Thank you, sir. Let's do this one. Let us know in chat what your favorite stone of our selections um, is. What kit you ordered if you ordered a kit. So this little guy is a bead stopper. This is important because this will allow us to stop the beads from falling off while we're working. Another thing that we're going to need aside from our kit is a tape measure. So we're going to need a tape measure for this project. And then we are going to need right. a soft flex cutter and a crimping pliers. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this crimping pliers a little bit later on, but you'll notice that this one's green. Ooh. So I just dropped the link for both the kit that abby's showing us today and i also dropped a kit if you want to sign up for the monthly fun pack um, i'm going to try and get on my phone here and go into facebook and pin these and if anybody is watching from um our uh staff at gbe <laughs> if you can help pin that'd be cool too otherwise i think alex probably can handle it all right we got pinned Okay, so we're going to open up our kit and we're going to start to kind of separate our kit contents. Now let's look at the construction of this bracelet to figure out what we need to do. So you'll see I've got these beautiful sections of what looks like leather cord. Then we've got these beautiful sections of our zigzag of gemstones and chain. And it just kind of creates these fun chain swags mixed with knotted cord. What are you doing? Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> um, and so it is a symmetrical project. So it makes for a symmetrical necklace if you follow the steps that I'm telling you to a T. However, this is your project and I want you guys to be able to make it exactly how you need to. So let's talk about sizing. Now, in all of our projects, we like to make them uh, so that they'll fit everybody. So the first way that we do that is we use an extender chain on our project. So one side of the project is going to have a lobster clasp and the other side is going to have some extender chain. Now beyond that, there are additional ways that we can adjust the size or length of this project. So when we get into the project itself, I am going to tell you that you may or may not want to knot your first and last section while we're working on it because we might want to slide it off and swap it out for a different length of tubing. Hi, and you're Jess. like, tubing? You? What? I thought that was leather cord. Well, guess what? Surprise, surprise. It's not. It's faux leather tubing. So it's rubber tubing. It's completely vegan, cruelty-free rubber tubing. And it's texturized to make it feel and look like leather. My favorite product. <laughs> so... um the way that we adjust the size of this end piece here is just by cutting a little bit of a longer section here if we need to. Or if you have um, a teeny tiny little wrist, you can, of course, cut a shorter section on either side. Um, so if you feel that you 
can um, wear bracelets that are average size from stores. I would say follow this with the lengths that I am telling you. We're going to do five inch lengths um, and you can knot as we go. Um, but if you find that you need to wear smaller bracelets or larger bracelets, you might want to knot, knot, <laughs> not knot the first one. I hope that makes sense. Um, hey, Terry, I noticed that you said you didn't put the discount code. Um, send us a send us a note through the chat system on our um, on our website and the, we'll make sure to check that before we um, pull your order. Is the tubing rubber? It is. It's rubber tubing. It's texturized specialty rubber tubing. It is latex free. So anybody with latex allergies should be good with this tubing. Hello, Robin. All right. So. I'm going to separate my parts and pieces here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my little spool or my little coil of soft flex. This is fine soft flex. And I like to use fine soft flex for this project because A, it just makes going through this tubing a little bit easier. And then B, it makes these knots hold a little tighter. Normally, Soft flex medium is what I'd recommend for gemstones like this. I normally kind of default to medium, but this is a um, this is the fine wire, um, and it just like I said, it just makes it a little bit easier for the tubing. And guys, uh, Alex and I are watching the chat as best we can, but because our internet is a little wacko from the storm, if there are any questions that we are missing, which, which, um, just kind of message us after the fact and we'll do our best to answer. Which are you working with? Oh, I am working with Amazonite. So the, yeah, Mary, this is the Amazonite one. Uh, Motocrafts asks, I'm allergic to rubber. Do you have a substitute? You know, it'd be a great substitute is um, silver silk. I and think then, Neely's uh, like pipe pipe chain. No, not pipe chain. And fairing the tubing asks, one without the rubber. What color is the wire? Uh, the wire is just their standard steel gray color. The wire is not visible in this project, so you can use whatever wire you have on hand, or uh, use what's in the kit, which is the uh, standard gray. Okay. Alrighty, so the first thing that we're gonna do is take our tubing and we're gonna cut a five inch piece of tubing. Give me a little bit of elbow room, please. Thank you. And so you can just use your wire cutter or you can use um, scissors to cut this. Um, but I'm putting my bead stopper on about an inch and a half down from uh, the end of my wire here. Teresa says, do you have a non-leather option? Yes, none of these kits have leather. All of them are leather free. So this item right here is jewelry tube rather than leather. Okay, so I'm gonna slide my tubing on the end and try and not get it tangled in my tools. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna demonstrate the first knot. So what we're doing is a half barrel knot. And so I'm gonna do it really slowly. First, I'm gonna cross over like this. I'm gonna cross it over one more time. So we have this double loop. I'm gonna bring it real close to the camera. And if you need to screenshot this, you can. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my end over here and I'm gonna push it through. And guys, I'm gonna demonstrate this many, many, many times throughout this project. So if it's not making sense the first time I show it, I no worries. Of tubing. Um, if your cording is hollow, but it has to be a hollow product. All right, and it makes this really cool infinity knot. Look how awesome that is. So we want to aim this knot right in the center of our, whoops, of our five inch piece of cord. But if it's not exactly in the center, that's okay. You can kind of budget um, one way or another. You can scooch it if you want. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of 
bring this a little closer so you can see it. And I'm gonna see if I can boost my light up a little bit because I'm noticing we're a little dark over here. There we go. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our chain. We're gonna introduce our chain into this project. So I have my beautiful textured oval chain here. I'm going to string my last link of chain all the way down to my project. And I don't want it to go over the tubing. I want it to just sit right here. All right, hey Alex, would you mind uh, hopping up real quick and seeing if you can adjust the light down towards my hands? Okay, so next what we're gonna do, thank you, sir. Next what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up one of these beautiful, is that better guys? Is that a little brighter? Oh, that's good, right? Oh, nope, not that close. <laughs> it's kind of washing it out a little bit. Um, so next what we're gonna do is we're going to slide one of our beautiful Amazonite beads right mm -hmm. here next to it. Okay, so here's where you guys kind of have to pay attention. We're gonna start the zigzag, but we have to make sure that the zigzag in the chain is going in the right direction. So you see how with chain links, the chain links are not sitting like this. They're not both flat. One is this way and one is this way. So you have to make sure that you're skipping the little this way links and you're only going into the this way links. Does that make sense? I hope so. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we are going to skip the this way link and we're gonna go into the next, I can't do that, the next this way link. <laughs> so let me show you what that looks like in real life. So here we go. We're skipping the link that's here, this tiny link, and we're going to go into this link. And then it gets even more complicated, but once you do one, you'll see how easy it is when it clicks. So we're gonna take the wire in this direction. So it has to lay flat. We don't want our chain links twisting. So I'm wrapping my wire up in my tools. I'm gonna take a minute to just spread everything out so I can make this easier to show you. Okay, so here we go. You see how it looks like a V now? Let me know if that's clear. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up another one of these beautiful Amazonite beads. And the cool thing about using natural gemstones in your designs is that you don't have to think about color placement at all because there's color variety in a lot of natural gemstones and whatever you pick up is gonna be beautiful. Okay, so now you can see we're skipping this way and we're gonna go into the this way, but we're keeping it flat. So it's like this and it's not like this. I know those hand movements that I'm making make absolutely no sense to you guys. <laughs> unless, you, unless your brain works like my brain, you're like, what? Okay, so here we go. Look how cool that is. And you'll notice that these guys will either wanna sit out like a sore thumb or they'll kind of sit flat. And either way is fine. Okay, so next we're gonna pick up another Amazonite. Doesn't matter if you want to kind of pre-sort your beads into little stacks or if you just wanna go with it. But we're going to do this until we have seven beads and it gets a lot easier as you go along because you have less wire to work with and less chain to work with. So it's creating this really cool zigzag pattern. All righty. So I'm gonna pick up another one and you'll notice that sometimes while you're working, this is gonna wanna fall down to the bottom. You'll just have to kind of put that up so that that little link can be where it needs to be for the next time. 
just make sure that your little links are always on opposite sides of your big links. So we're gonna work until we have seven gemstone beads per section. And then I'm gonna show you my little trick to get these cool zigzag, oh, I'm sorry, not zigzag, chain swags, that's, that's what it was. We tried to call this kit uh, gemstone zigzag chain swag wrap bracelet convertible necklace we were like mm, that's too long <laughs> that won't even fit in the title of or like the title space that we have on our website but wouldn't that be fun all right so i'm gonna do a few more um and then let's see one two three four yeah just a few a few is three then i'm gonna scooch my other to the side so yeah, Sherry Miller says, skip the little link. Exactly. Skip the little link. So who in chat watches our Wednesday streams usually? And let us know in chat if you know what we have coming up for this Wednesday. It is highly anticipated. Oh, I'm flinging stuff around again. Just flinging. <laughs> I'm just flinging. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Isn't that cute? Oh, and here I've got to straighten my link out again so that it sits flat because if it gets twisted, it's not going to make that. Um, well, don't get it twisted. Oh, I know. It's not going to make that zigzag. It's going to zag zoog. We don't want that. Yeah, everybody's getting it right. Becky's paper beads. Yeah, so Becky, um, Becky's one of our staff members here at the Bead Place, and she's been with us forever. Um, and she is an incredibly talented artist, and she is going to show you guys this Wednesday how she makes her beautiful, incredible paper beads. So... Um, Alex, I don't know if you have it um, so that it would be easy for you to do, but if you would want to um, link that, uh, right. the event for the live for next Wednesday. So Becky just told me that we're going to be doing some awesome gift with purchases that Wednesday. Um, and they may or may not be Becky's art prints. May or may not. May or may not. May or may not. No, may or may not. Check that out. Look how cool that is. And yeah, those extra little side links give it texture. And then of course, depending on your tension, sometimes they'll wanna sit a little funny. Um, but I think that that adds to the fun kind of character flair of a gemstone knotted wrap bracelet or necklace. All right, everybody. I'm about to drop the Facebook event link to our Wednesday Live which will show off uh, Becky's awesome uh, project she has. Yeah. So click that and make sure you follow us on Facebook, but also make sure that you uh, like that or say joining or going, and then it'll notify you whenever we go live. And yes. You have to remember. Okay. So we've done seven beads and we've, finished with our last link here. How long does it keep on good? Uh, through Wednesday. Um, and so now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the chain hanging. We're not going to cut the chain. I know a lot of other zigzag projects, it's like, once you're done with that chain, you cut it. But no, don't. <laughs> so now we're going to cut another five inch length of our tubing. All right, so again, you can just use your scissors, your wire cutters, whatever you want. Just make sure that it's a straight across cut. You don't want to cut it angled. It needs to be a straight across cut. Okay. Oh, thank you, Melissa. That's very sweet. Um, so Pat says, could we do this with leather? How would we attach the soft flex? Um, if it's hollow leather, maybe, but it just, this, this project just kind of doesn't really behave with anything other than this jewelry tube. So I would highly recommend the jewelry tube. And then the other awesome thing about jewelry tube, not only is it cruelty free, um, but 
because it's this cool textured matte finish that they apply during the ex extrusion process, which I think is a super fun word to say, um, it holds on to colorants very well. So let's say you wanted to make this cool gold and bronzy looking project even more bronzy looking, you could apply like Gilder's paste or some kind of um, patina to the, the matte finish on the cord. Okay, so here's where we are. I've got my five inches strung on and I'm gonna do that really cool knot again. But you notice that I have my fingers here at the end stopping this from sliding down. So, uh, yes, we do sell the tubing. Alex, can you link jewelry tube? Um, you'll have to search it because I didn't put it in the link list, sorry. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do a loop and then it's gonna go around again like that. And I like to just kind of keep my thumb in there to stop it from closing. And then I'm gonna take my tail end. Actually, I'm gonna be super fumbly at first because I've got a camera and a tripod and a light in between me and my hands. <laughs> and an Alex, and an on Alex on elbowing right, me. I'm uh, dropping the link to the jewelry tube in chat right now. So click that, hurry up and click that before it gets drowned in the chat. <laughs> um, and yeah, the if you're watching on YouTube, uh, um, th there will no, not be anything, any of the comments pinned. But if you look at the pinned comment, that is the actual link to the kit. Yeah. And of course, you can use the coupon code TGBE20. To save 20%. Okay, sorry. I just have to say this real quick before okay. my brain... Uh, loses it. So when you tighten this knot, it's really important to keep your fingers here close to the end to kind of make sure this jewelry tube isn't wanting to slide up. So we're going to go to tighten it and we're going to try our best to make sure that the knot is centered. And if you notice the knot looks a little goofy like this, it's because one of the sides slipped over the other side. So the easy way to fix that is to just take the top knot loop and slide it back down under the other one and then tighten it. And then it'll make that really cool infinity shape again. And then you can slide it up the cord so that it's centered. We can push the tubing down to the gemstones so that they're not loosey goosey. This is one of these projects that like, you can adjust it until it's crimped practically. Is it jewelry tube stretch? It is a little stretchy because it's a rubber product, mm -hmm. but it's not stretchy in the way that like you can string beads on it and tie it in a knot and have a stretchy bracelet, but it has a little give to it. So it makes it really easy to tie knots. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to make that really cool chain swag that adds so much texture to this project. So the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna count out eight links. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have eight empty links. We're gonna string that ninth link. And we're gonna make sure to go through that big textured link in the same direction so that- Deborah it... Manchin said you're out of brown tubing. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we've been selling a lot of this tubing since we launched this kit. If you, um, there might be an option on the site to sign up for um, like back in stock notifications. There definitely is. I get them all the time. Awesome. Good deal. <laughs> Sign up for back in stock notifications. And actually, um, hey, Becky, if you're watching, can you go in and adjust inventory on that? Because we did just get a shipment in. Um, or you know what? You could even just order another color and then put in the order notes that you wanted brown. And we'll adjust shipping. Or not shipping. We'll adjust inventory manually afterwards. Okay. So check that out. We've got this cool swag now. And notice how this is going to want to string down here. You're like, what's going to stop it from doing that when I'm wearing it, Abby? Why didn't you think this design through? Well, guess what? Once we put that next gemstone bead. Oh, my gosh, you guys. My phone is blowing up with orders. Thank you so much. So once we put that. To using your phone to stream with, right? I think it's fun. So once we put that next gemstone bead on. Happy Sunday, Kenny O'Carns. And Sorry. then we are going to do the next little zigzag pattern, if I can get it to hold right. It's 11. We're good. What, what we, have to, we have another half hour. Oh, okay. 
we used to be on at 10. And so Alex is remembering those days when it's like, got to be done at 11. Oh, oh, I just hit you in the head. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So once we have this next gemstone bead locked in, um, then that swag is not going to fall back. Isn't that cool? Let me get centered so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Isn't that cool? Oh, thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so now we're just going to keep going. And while we keep going, let's just chat because you guys pretty much have it by now. Um, and then depending on the, um, depending on where I am in this project and how distracted I've gotten, we may or may not have time to finish both ends. Mm -hmm but we are for sure gonna at least get one end finished so you know how to actually put your piece together. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so much. You truly have no idea how much your support means to businesses like ours during this weekend. Did you say that it is long enough to wear as a necklace as well? Yes, um, I am wearing one now and it is, I think, if my I don't have my notes over here, but I think it's a 36 inch, 32. It's either 32 or 36 inch finished necklace, depending on where you um, depending on like how you finish it and where you clasp the chain. Because remember, at the beginning, we talked about sizing options. Um, so it kind of depends on how you create it. Can you guys hear my phone buzzing with all those notifications? It's on silent, but it still vibrates when um, purchases come through. I'm just curious if you guys can hear that. You guys, thank you. So anyway, what I was trying to say was that um, your support means so, so much to all of us. And I mean, these last few years have been difficult on everybody, um, and I'm not trying to, like, you know, say poor pity us small business owners, but um, we, a lot of us here in the beat extravaganza have gone through major life changes within the last few years, and we're all just trying to keep doing what we love, um, you know, we don't want to give up on our passions and so your support during these events it just shows us that we can do it you know what i mean like i i just i don't know how else to say it other than that um a lot of us have lost some of our manufacturers a lot of us um just are kind of in pivotal times right now uh, and so your support, not only just by telling us thank you for our presentations and for sharing, um, but of course your purchases during the event, it really just kind of literally helps to keep the lights on. So um, I didn't want to not say that because we appreciate you being here um, and, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> oh, it does. It makes it all worthwhile. I don't know who it, who is commenting from Softlex Company. I don't know if that's Sarah or Kristen, but yeah, it it does. It just feels good, and we want to let you guys know that we appreciate you. Okay, so I think that's seven beads. Sometimes, if you're not paying attention and the little smaller links end up on the same side, you might end up with two zigs and then a zag, but the easy way to fix that is by just kind of twisting. I <laughs> didn't do that here, but I did just want to mention it because I was afraid that I did. So you can. Karen E. Vasconcello said, I'm so excited to hear your phone vibrate. <laughs> Thank you. But I do want to let you guys know that those notifications are not all purchases. <laughs> The way that our system is set up is uh, we get notification, we get like an email notification from the order, then we get an email notification from the payment processor, like whatever you guys decide to pay with. And then we There's get three a notification. notifications <laughs> per purchase, basically. <laughs> so don't think way. we're don't think we're that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you. Elizabeth says the bead place has awesome whatnot shows too. Um, just to catch you guys up on what I'm doing, I just cut a five inch length of tubing and I'm stringing that on. Um, yeah, and we actually have our whatnot join link in the um, description of this video. And Alex is going to uh, link that in chat in just a minute too. Um, but if you use our join link to uh, join the whatnot platform, um, you save $15 off your first purchase through the app. You should do it. It's a fun, okay. it's a fun uh, place <laughs> to be, that's for sure. It is. So let's do that knot again. And this time I'll, I'll try to make it less fumbly and I'll get it real close to the screen. Um, and while I'm doing this, Alex is going to explain what knot for you. No. No? I'm trying to get the... <laughs> oh, okay. Code. Okay. I can't do what knot is like a, um, it's like a live selling platform, so but it's I'm automated. Whatnot at the bottom. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So whatnot, you can, like Abby said, you can use this coupon code when you sign up. You have to be a fresh, brand new. Yeah. You have to be a new user. New user. Um, but you use this. It's www.whatnot.com slash invite slash the bead place. Um, and you can save $15 to take, take $15 off your first purchase. It doesn't have to even be with us. And but we'd we, like it we if would it love was. It. It's, it was us, <laughs> but there are a ton of um, bead and what do you call it? Jewelry uh, making. Jewelry making uh, sellers on there. Or even if you're into like um, vintage clothes or Sports like cars, uh, Pokemon, whatever. Yeah, any kind of hobby. Okay. So one thing that I did want to mention is that like if our internet is so choppy that you cannot see what I'm doing with these knots, I'm going to make a little video short um, this upcoming week to focus on the knot. Um, and then I'm also, uh, I also just want to let you know that if knots aren't really your thing, you can just do an overhand knot or you can just cut your tubing shorter. So this length right here, of course, it's going to vary depending on your tension, but it's about three inches. So you leave about, or you lose about two inches to the knot, but keep in mind, um, you can make this your own design. So again, we're going to skip eight links. So let's count those eight links out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to go in through the ninth link. All right. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're seeing it clearly. It's like on our screens, I see us like freeze for a minute. And I'm like, oh, no, I wonder if that's just us or if everybody's seeing that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I've got another section of seven beads. Alex, how am I doing on time? It's 11.07. Okay, good deal. Awesome. So I don't know if you guys have signed up for the main bead extravaganza giveaway, like not our giveaway, but the whole big shebang giveaway. Um, but the giveaway post is pinned in the group and it's on the page as well. Um, but all of the presenters uh, have kind of come together to uh, put prizes together for these major, major giveaway bundles. Um, so make sure you are signed up for that as well. Sue um, Lady asks, are you using SoftFlex and what type? Yes, I am using Fine SoftFlex for this. And the reason why I'm using Fine is because it slides through the tubing a little bit easier. This is a pretty lightweight necklace or bracelet. It doesn't really uh, need medium. Um, and so it just makes the knotting a little bit easier also because there's more room. Sorry, I keep like bopping Alex in the head when I'm... Debbie, to answer your question, all you have to do is type in chat giveaway. Uh, and then we will be announcing the winner on our Wednesday night live stream. We do a live stream every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. But here's the catch. <laughs> you have to be present in our Wednesday night live stream to uh, to get to, the, win. To, to win the actual giveaway. So make sure you put in hashtag giveaway. So Denise, make sure you get a hashtag before you say giveaway. Um, hashtag giveaway. And then you come hang out with us on Wednesday. We'll announce the giveaway and do our normal stream. And again, if you want to purchase the giveaway, it is our 
uh, monthly, monthly fun, fun pack. pack. Here's what it is. It's yeah. so pretty. So we do these monthly, every single month. It's a subscription based uh, <clears throat> package. And, <laughs> yeah, I had a brain fart. Yeah, um, I was like, I was what like, are you gonna say like there? <laughs> you know how yeah, buffering. You <laughs> that little ring that started circling. That's what my brain was doing just now. But yeah, you, you just you can sign up. Uh, I can drop the link to that if you'd rather just you know sign up for it. It's it's an awesome. I mean, Abby and the staff here. It's uh, fun. We have a lot of fun putting excluded, it together. <laughs> uh, do an awesome job of One, picking two, three, out four, fresh five, and six. fun new items every single week, every single month. Um, uh, the mm -hmm. other thing, Alex, if you could just link our Facebook page and our YouTube channel in the comments, a lot oh. of people are watching this on the Great Beat Extravaganza's YouTube channel or the Great Beat Extravaganza's Facebook page or group. So yeah, if you so, would want to link us. So here is our Facebook. Thanks, Southflex. Uh, here's our Facebook page. You can go ahead and like us on Facebook. Um, it really helped us out because, you know, obviously uh, social media is uh, king these days. And Yeah. And speaking of helping us out, if you guys could just take a minute to put a heart react on this video or if you're watching on YouTube, if you could like this video, we would really appreciate it. It just kind of lets the algorithm know that this is content that you like seeing. So not only does it help us, but it helps you, too, because then you're going to get shown content like this from us or from other creators like us, like other presenters <laughs> in the beat extract. Sue, Sue Lady says, they are entertaining better than TV. Oh, thank you. We try. All right. And here, now I'm uh, putting the, our Facebook group, which is the, the bead place Facebook group on Facebook. If you want to join that, um, some of our staff members post in their weekly, um, what am I thinking? Thank of? you guys. Their weekly projects. And then of course the members We're it's a super active group. So join it. You won't be, you won't be uh, disappointed. All right. I'm so here's another one of those. Today. It's all good. Here's another one of those. Um, not oh, yeah, for you. Yeah. Thank you, Trish. <laughs> um, and keep in mind, you have to keep your fingers here so that it doesn't, the the knot or the tubing doesn't travel up on the wire okay. and then when i tighten it i like to kind of pull both ends to tighten it and then that kind of makes this knot cinch in place all right Here's... if you're not used to working with the tubing just kind of play with it a little bit you can't really do much to mess it up here's the i just dropped a link to abby's youtube channel she is close to fifty nine thousand subscribers so that's Nine. incredible. She's awesome. Uh, but go ahead and subscribe. Love watching us on Wednesdays. Yeah, we, we have we have fun. We get a little wild sometimes. It's it's much more uh, loosey goosey on Wednesdays. That's for sure. We try to keep it calm. PG thirteen. Well, no, I was gonna say we. This is keep PG. It... That's PG thirteen. Something. <laughs> Depending on if Becky's on or not. <laughs> oh my. We try to not do rated R. It's hard to stop Becky from going there. Though. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, we don't, we don't do R, but we can get a little crazy sometimes, I guess. Debbie said, can you please add the link for the monthly subscription? Yes. Yeah. Alex will I, do I, that for you. I added it, but if yeah, you guys are buried. just you guys are just chatterboxes today. I'm not even seeing half the comments I'm that are coming either. through. Can you please? Oh yeah. There's the link to the monthly fun pack, and again, that's a subscription base, or you can just sign up for one month. Um, but if you sign up for the monthly uh, subscription based version, it is five dollars cheaper. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you only have till the fifteenth. Uh, of each month to sign up for the next month's yes. box. So if you, so, so you have to do it February, tomorrow. You sign up today or tomorrow. So, yes. That way we have good counts for when yeah, things ship would, out. Yeah, be wild. Hey, thank you, Sakaya. Alrighty. So, how are we on time? I feel like I'm going to run out of time. 15, 14, 14, oh, okay. I think I'm okay, right? 
11 minutes. Okay. So after us, you have a little bit of a break. And then um, Heather from Humble Beads is mm -hmm. going to be up at 12 p.m. Central. Um, and I don't know if you guys caught her on the trend report last night, but did you see the cool stuff that she posted that she like created like a curated collection <laughs> of items um, that fit her like the trends, like some of her items that fit the trends. I just thought that was really cool. Um, if we sign up today, will it be February, March? It'll be February. Yep. So yep, it, yep, you yep. have until end of business on Monday. So the 15th, which is tomorrow, Monday, the 15th. It just has to be like the way it's done is like the date that's listed on the um, order. So it doesn't even have to be end of business. Oh, it's okay. just the date that's on the order. Before midnight. Depending on the time zone that you're in. Before midnight here in our time zone, I guess. Sure right? It's not midnight their time. I don't know. So, get get it in before just, just end of day. Just go get it now. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're thinking about it, if you're taking the tires. Just go do it now. Yeah. But anyway, what I was going to say is that trend report thing was super cool. Um, I was hoping that I would get a chance to hang out and talk trends, but the day kind of took a a different turn than I was expecting. So I wasn't able to We're in hop Central on there and zone. watch the whole thing. But hey, thanks for all those follows on whatnot. We pre I assume that's probably folks watching here. All right, guys. So look what happened here. I got a weird little twisty thing. So look what I can do to fix it. Look what I can do. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take my hands and I'm literally just going to push those links to where they need to go to fix it. Gotcha. And then this guy needs to come up here and then it's all better now. See? All right, cool. So I'm going to cut another five inch length of my tubing. And we are in central time. I just saw, I don't know who asked that because the comment went away already, but. Thank you guys for these orders. Okay, so another length of tubing. Thank you. All righty. Can you guys hear that buzzing? Um, our Wednesday shows are at 7 p.m. Central. Okay, so here's another length of tubing. And guys, if that if that half barrel knot or double overhand knot, whatever you want to call it, if that's too much, just do a regular overhand knot or whatever knot you want. But here's that knot again. We're going to double loop it and then come up through. Just keep your fingers at the end here. Judith asked, I just started watching, but what gemstone are you using right now? Um, this one is the Amazonite. And see how sometimes it can get away from you? Remember, just put that top loop under or like oh, like underneath the other one and then it'll behave. So you can kind of tighten it and push it back where it needs to go. And if it gets so far away from you that you're like, what is happening here? My tubing is, or my wire is exposed. Check this out. Just undo the knot. Uh, Lori, we are in Fairview Heights, Illinois, which is about 15 to 20 minutes from downtown St. Louis, Missouri. So if you're in the St. Louis area within a couple hours, come give us a, come, give it, come say hi. Yeah. Is that also called a surgeon's knot? Um, so a surgeon's knot is generally, uh, when you've got two ends of cord, um, but it's real similar to a surgeon's knot. Okay. So come on, buddy. Little buddy. <laughs> there we go. All right. So then I'm just going to push this back up so that it's centered and look, look what I did here. I left a little bit too much space in here. But watch what happens since I'm using the fine wire. I can just pull it down and just kind of slide that knot. And if it's not sliding, you can loosen it a little bit so there's a little bit more play. And you can just slide it down almost like it's a bead. How cool is that? I love it. Okay, so then we're going to do this again. And I'm getting close to time. So I'm 
going to see if I can race to get this done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go through the ninth one. So we always have eight empty links and string through. But if I cannot get this done, the important things that I need you guys to know is that you will have, um, you will have extra chain after this design. Um, you're not going to do chain swags on your last pieces here. Oh, yeah, Lori. You're, you're close enough to where you could come see us. And uh, store, the store is 4,000 square feet. And if you're into knitting or crocheting, we also have a yarn store as well. Uh, in the, what, like side? inside of our in, bead yeah. store. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> could you imagine having a separate location? No. <laughs> Much, it's hard to imagine just having one location. <laughs> how much chain do you use? Um, let me look at my notes. Ask you, Ian. 32 inches of chain, but you have a few extra links to make your extender chain. Anywhere near Elgin? It's uh, we have customers in Elgin. I don't it's know. Not too terrible like we far. have people that travel here from Elgin, but I honestly don't know how far it away it is. It would be a day is. trip. You know, it would be a day trip to Fairview oh, Heights. Look what I did. So here's how you can tell if you didn't go through the right direction because your links are kind of twisted up here. Me telling you like you did it. No, mm -hmm. I did it. Yeah, Sue. Sue, Sue, Sue W says that's my kind of store, beads and yarn. Yep, that's what we think too. They play nicely together. You can use yarn in your jewelry designs and you can use beads in your knitting. Okay, so... Thanks, Jody. I want to tell you guys that we are using the Fine Magic Crimper in this project. Oh, I'm not on. I'm sorry. Um, so we are using the Fine Magical Crimper in this project. Um, the Fine Magical Crimper is not always available. I think at this point in time, it is not currently available um, to like for us to order, but we do have some stock left. So Alex is going to link that in chat. Like, what? The, the magical crimper is right there. Um, make sure when you're ordering your magical crimper, if you don't have one that you select the green color for fine. Um, if you do not feel like buying a new tool right now, link is in um, what you can do is use your regular magical crimper. Oh, yeah, right. And then after you crimp, you can like smash it flat it's not as pretty but it does the job <laughs> um or what you can do is use your hot dog bun standard crimper um as long as it's sized for the fine wire laura you could you could come down tuesday you know in this uh iceberg tundra that we have going on right now it's you know like negative four or five degrees here thursday is our fun day to come because um it, that's our open group day oh yeah there's always several folks in our in our tables in the back. Uh, One, two, three, four, five, six. Making stuff. Seven. Okay, so you will have one leftover bead. Um, your kit comes with a head pin, and you're gonna do a dangle which, which on the end of your is chain. It you use soft flex only. Um, the flex wire cutter in the in the um, link list link wow. list <laughs> in the link okay so here this last one is where we can cut that last bit of chain off and i can do it okay so this i'm using a wire cutter this is the flush cutter that's linked below are we down at 30 or 25 30 oh okay good i can do it then and i just i'm going to use this as my pliers real quick to pull this out do you have um, a loop do you have loop yarn i couldn't find it on your site uh loop brand no we do we don't carry loop um we have some similar but no but the majority of our yarns are not listed online um we kind of keep it old school with the yarn side of the store just some of our top sellers are online mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna cut my last five inches and of course, this last piece is too long. You do have to cut your last five inches. We give you an extra like inch and a half, two inches, depending on how close your measurements were <laughs> when you were cutting, because um, mine must have been off a bit. 
Um, but you, you do have extra tubing. So you do have to measure out that last piece. Um, so I'm going to do my last knot here. And if you need extra length, guys, you can even just not do the last knot. So there's lots of different ways to adjust the length on this project. All righty. No, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to slide my knot up and try not to slide my tubing up while I do that. And you guys can see I'm just kind of holding my wire at the end here to try to stop it from traveling up while I push my knot up. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, just kind of smushing your knot like this. You can, of course, undo your knot and redo it. But I just like to do the knot and then place it after the fact. Yeah, sometimes you got to smush your knot. Very true. Um, Okie doke. So here we are. We have a symmetrical project that could be a wrap bracelet or it could be a necklace. Let me shift this camera and you can show it. No, because I have to finish it now. <laughs> yeah, five minutes. So it's a race okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bead our last bead that we have left over and we are going to add it onto the head pin i'm going to take my chain nose pliers this chain nose pliers is linked in the description i'm going to take my pliers grab it right above the bead and bend it into a right angle i'm going to take my round nose pliers i'm going to hold the round nose pliers so that the barrels of the pliers the noses of the pliers are on top of one another like this i'm going to grab right in that bend about four millimeters or so back from the end of the pliers i'm going to take the wire i'm going to push it around the top of my pliers to create this cool little hook i'm going to put it back on the bottom nose of my pliers I'm going to bend it around to create that shape. Can I'm going to take my last, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm going to take my last bit of chain and I'm going to hook that onto the end of the chain. I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I'm going to grab this loop like this. How many links of chain are you skipping for the knotted sections? Uh, eight empty links. So you'll go into your ninth link. Thanks, Sherry. I really was working hard today, you know? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to trim the tail end off. You can tuck down if you need to. I don't need to because I have one of these red and black handled cutters that are fantastic. Um, and so this is what we have. This is our extender chain. You'll notice that in your kit, there are some extra little spacers that match the chain. We're going to string two of those spacers on the end just to kind of dress up the end a little bit. If anybody after us, can we go over a little? Um, we can go over just a smidge if we absolutely need to, but we want to make sure that our friends get their break um, to use the restroom, grab a snack, finish their projects. Okay, so we've got two little daisy spacers here. We have a crimp bead, and then I strung my lobster clasp on. It's the Himalay Pocket Matt said, you can go over. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So then I'm going to slide the tail end of my wire back through my crimp and bring the crimp down, pull the tail end out. I'm going to take my green crimper. And like I said, if you don't have one of these um, and if you can't, uh, if you're not in a position right now where you can get a new tool, um, you can use your purple crimper and then just smash it flat afterwards. Um, it's not as pretty, in my opinion, but it definitely works. Or you can use your uh, regular, like, standard hot dog bun crimper. But I would not just do a flat crimp. Okay, so this is a standard 2 by 2 thick wall crimp. Um, these are manufactured by Softlex Company, so you guys know they're top quality. Um, just make sure you're using good quality crimps with these pliers because otherwise it's not pretty. And again, folks, I just posted the link to this kit in the chat of everywhere. I know it's pinned on Facebook, but you know, on, on YouTube, it's not pinned. So if you are interested, go ahead and pick it up. Um, again, you can use that coupon code TGBE20 at checkout to save 20% off. And you can use that on pretty much any product. Um, and including the magical crimper. Uh, so if you want to save big money, you go ahead and get both. 
Yeah, the only things that it's really not applicable for is the subscriptions and then classes. Oh no, Becky. Becky said OMG. I forgot my time. <gasps> no! Well, guess what, <laughs> Becky? You can watch our replay. So no worries, my friend. You're right in time for us to finish this off and then take a little break. And then you will get to catch our friend Heather Powers with Humble Beads. Look at that cute little end. I love those stacked daisies here at the end. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to do our little stacked daisies. I just love how the daisy kind of emulates the texture of the chain. Um, it just kind of sings the same song, if that makes sense. Sings the song. So we have our little dangle of chain that we made. And then we are going to string that through the last link of chain. We're going to take the wire back through the crimp. Alex, how am I on time? It is 11.30. Oh, okay. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Pencil's down. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go through there. We're going to make sure everything's tight the way it should be. And we're going to crimp. All right. So last chance to enter our giveaway. Make sure that you do hashtag giveaway. And then make sure you are watching Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central on the Bead Places Facebook page or YouTube channel. Yeah, Becky, as soon as we're done with the stream, you should be able to go back. Since you're watching on YouTube, you can go back immediately and watch it. So you should be good. Um, that goes for anybody who joined late that wants to watch the whole presentation. Make sure you like our Facebook uh, Join our Facebook group, The Bead Place Facebook group over there on Facebook. Subscribe to Abby's YouTube channel. It's Abby Berta. Just search Abby Berta. There's 59, almost 59,000 subscribers. So go give her a subscription over there. There's hundreds of free tutorials from other projects over the last decade over there. So go check that out. Give her a subscri uh, ah! subscribe over there. Hashtag well giveaway done, to get entered. Remember, for that giveaway, this you do Goldstone. have to be present this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central on our Facebook page. That's where we'll be going live. That's where we'll be announcing the winner. You have to be present to win. So please come join us uh, if you want to possibly get picked for the giveaway. And again, use that coupon code. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. Debbie, unfortunately not. Um, you have to be watching live because it sorts comments differently um, into live comments and uh, replays. So you have to be watching live to enter. Oh, I've got hair attached to it. That's gross. Sorry, guys. Okay, so here's the rhodonite one. And I just took this off. Oh, Trisha, show us the bracelet you're wearing. Um, these, these are just uh, some new things that are on the website. Um, and then we'll probably do like a Valentine's Day show. These are things from our Valentine's Day collection. Um, we'll probably do a Valentine's Day show the week after um, Becky's paper bead show. But these are available now on the website. Okay, <laughs> let me figure out how to switch back to face cam so we can say a proper goodbye. I'm almost there. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight, guys. This is tonight, tonight. today. This morning. Today. Not even noon yet. Okay. <laughs> My hair's all a mess now. Oh, oh wrong no. way. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Oh, I'm going to put my necklace on. So that way you guys can see it as a necklace. And that extender chain helps to kind of adjust your length for the necklace, too. Um, oh, my hair's all over the place. I really get wild when I design. Okay, thank you so much, you guys. This was super fun. We appreciate your support. I love hanging out with you guys during these. Um, make sure that you set your alarm clock for noon central so that you can watch Heather on Powers. Wednesday. No, sorry. <laughs> so that you can watch Heather Powers. Um, her project is gorgeous, and I can't wait to see her make it. Um, remember to use TGBE20 at beaplace.net now through Wednesday. Uh, make sure to enter. Last chance to do hashtag giveaway. Hashtag to enter giveaway. This, to win this. Okay. Um, and make sure to watch the group um, after all the wonderful presentations today uh, because we will be announcing the next TGBE dates. 
So make sure to put those on your calendar. Um, and then today, I mean, we have a jam packed day full of fantastic guests. Uh, we've got Katie Hacker with Beads of Courage. We've got the Crafty Chica, the one and only Crafty Chica. Um, so yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks guys. Bye.